This video was created by Vinylic Puma of Vinylic Puma Gaming. Hello all, and welcome back to another episode on cut content and weapons in Fallout 4. In previous episodes, we went over the auto-targeting Fat Man and the nuclear broadsider. Today, I figured we'd go over a unique customization for the Gamma Gun Pistol. Now, it's possible during your travels in Fallout 4 that you've encountered the Children of Adam, you've killed a few of them, and looted a Gamma Gun Pistol from their corpses. Or maybe you completed some cool side quests involving the Cabot family and got your hands on some cool unique variants of the Gamma Gun. Now, in my opinion, the Gamma Gun Pistol is possibly one of, if not the best pistol in Fallout 4, thanks to its high radiation damage and its ability to add an additional 40 energy damage thanks to the electrical signal carrier upgrade. At the same time, you've got to wonder, uh, why do the other energy pistols allow you to have scatter or shotgun weapon customizations? After all, the plasma rifle and pistol, the laser rifle and pistol, and even the laser musket allow you to convert them into shotgun-like energy weapons thanks to scatter weapon customizations. You may be interested to know that there was a cut weapon modification for the Gamma Gun Pistol that allowed you to fire split projectiles, sort of like the scatter mods for the laser pistol, laser musket, and of course the scatter gun modification for the plasma pistol or rifle. Uh, that of course is the splitting dish weapon customization, which turns your Gamma Gun Pistol into a Gamma Gun Shotgun Pistol, or more precisely, a Scattered Gamma Gun. Like the other scatter mods for the other energy weapons that you can get in Fallout 4, the Scattered Gamma Gun fires about six projectiles at the cost of one Gamma Round. Uh, I would say it's pretty overpowered, as you can deal more damage than what the game lists in VATS, thanks to the Gamma Gun's inherent area of effect damage, much like the normal and also the cut versions of the Broadsider Heavy Weapon. Keep in mind that since the modification that allows you to get the Scattered Gamma Gun comes from the Splitting Dish, or just like a dish customization for the Gamma Gun, you can also continue to modify the weapon's grip and also improve the Gamma Gun's muzzle with the coveted electrical signal carrier, which adds energy damage and allows you to fire charge shots, and the signal repeater, which makes the Gamma Gun fire like an automatic weapon. What's also kind of weird about the Scattered Gamma Gun is that it is the only weapon that I've encountered in Fallout 4 with a negative range value of negative 11. Uh, the negative range value doesn't seem to affect or um, alter projectile distance that much, if it even does at all. That of course is going to bring us to our big question for today, and that is, why was the splitting dish weapon customization and the scattered gamma gun overall cut from Fallout 4. So first off, the negative range value for the scattered gamma gun is probably a mistake. Uh, now correct me if I am wrong on this, but I haven't found any other weapons for the vanilla game of Fallout 4 that have a negative range value. Uh, it's possible that we might get some in DLC, but in my opinion, I think that this negative range isn't intentional by the developers over at Bethesda. I also think that the splitting dish customization uh, makes possibly the best pistol in Fallout 4 even more powerful. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, the Gamma Gun in general seems to deal more damage than listed in VATS thanks to area of effect damage. Uh, not only can you increase any Gamma Gun's damage through both the Nuclear Physicist and Demolition Expert perks, but you can also have it deal almost as much damage as a fully upgraded laser pistol or rifle with the Electrical Signal Carrier customization. Uh, that's not including the radiation damage you would be getting normally from just the Gamma Gun itself. 
You'll also notice that the splitting dish customization looks identical to the standard dish customization for the Gamma Gun pistol. I think if Bethesda had ultimately decided to add the splitting dish to the vanilla game, it would have needed to have a unique in-game model for the dish to go with it. Uh, very much like the targeting computer upgrade for the cut recon seeking fat man. It's also possible that for whatever reason, the developers over at Bethesda just decided that they didn't want the scattered gamma gun pistol in the game because it didn't fit their vision for weapons in Fallout 4 or something. Keep in mind that all of this is speculation as I don't think really anybody can say for sure. Uh, it is a shame that the splitting dish and the scattered gamma gun pistol got cut from the game because they're both a decent improvement to what was already a great weapon. Uh, besides, more projectiles always equals more fun. Uh, my hope is that both the splitting dish customization and the scattered gamma gun pistol officially return through either a weapon DLC of some sort or finally become available to everyone when Fallout 4 mods finally hit the console versions of Fallout 4. Anyway guys, that's going to pretty much wrap up this particular video. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like, and as always, take care and I'll see you all next time.